most extraordinary tie of the day, Tamworth scored first. Steve Eccleston from Russell Gordon's free kick. A couple of minutes before half-time, and still 1-0, as Ian Chandler made a run. The ball rebounded, and Perry Briggs equalised. Before Tamworth could recover, Tony Dawson had set up a goal for Chandler. Whitley Bay unexpectedly went in 2-1 ahead. That became 3-1 soon after the restart. Darren Barker the score. The gate at the Lamb was 2,600, but there wasn't much noise from the Tamworth contingent when Paul Ferris extended Whitley Bay's lead to 4-1. The real fun was packed into the last 13 minutes. From a David Wells free kick, Mark Smith's powerful left foot pulled a goal back for Tamworth. Then, 10 minutes from time, Darren Barker claimed his second of the game. Whitley Bay were 5-2 ahead. However, Tamworth had reached this first round on the strength of their willingness to battle. When Steve Eccleston's shot was blocked, Mark Smith forced the ball in. Six minutes left. Then it was Russell Gordon. Now it was Tamworth four, Whitley Bay five, two minutes left. There was still time for another goal, but it was Whitley Bay who scored it. Perry Briggs shot deflected to complete a memorable, exhausting victory. 4-6 the final score. See what you missed, never having played in the first round. You need a calculator there, didn't you? Well, the referee got his thumbs right. <laughs> well, you played in the last round, that's what's more important. What goal uh, stood out for you today?